Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this week's video. Today we are doing, if that was not, so not graceful, I just whacked myself in the face with a paintbrush. Today we're doing a DIY project. Today's DIY project is with these fabulous crates. I have been wanting a shelving unit for this corner just for like display stuff, nothing for storage purposes, just for display. So I have three of these crates that I'm going to stack like this. And I bought some little feet that I'm gonna make from the dollar store. And we're gonna make ourselves a little corner shelving unit. The only thing I've done to prep these crates is I gave them a very light sand because they were unfinished and they had lots of little splintery pieces sticking off of them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these with a super light coat of white and then I'm going to take a small light sander and make it kind of look beachy. Well that's what I'm hoping for anyways. Will it work? I, I don't really know but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, one down and painted, two more to go. My three boxes are now all painted and ready to go. I highly recommend if you're gonna do this, please get a bigger drop sheet. I just spent 20 minutes scrubbing my floors because there was paint splatter all over them. Whew, gotta get sweat going though. All right, now it's time to sand down the sides to give it that more like beachy wood vibe. So my crates are all ready to go. They're all sanded and painted. I'm gonna be pre-drilling some holes through the tops and the bottoms and then adding some screws to make it stable. Well, let's do it. wasn't too hard. I had a little bit of issues with the drill, but that's just because, you know, I don't use power tools that much. I was looking for feet for this because I didn't want it to sit directly on the ground and I couldn't find anything that wasn't like a million dollars because wood is so expensive right now and nothing would really suit it. So I found these little metal storage tins at the dollar store and I'm going to paint them white. And then I have these little floor casters to go on top of those just to raise it up a little bit off the ground. I think that might look okay, and if it doesn't, I'll just pull them off. Um, I'm going to have to do one little tiny repair because I kind of misjudged it and drilled right through. Kind of an accident, but fixable. So we're just going to do a little patch job on that. And then we're going to paint these. I don't know why I tried to use such a small paintbrush the first time, but we're gonna do a couple coats to get the metal covered. So we let those dry and then we'll do another coat. I 
I'm definitely not in love with the way the feet turned out and I'm definitely gonna look for something better later, but it'll do for now just to get it up off the ground. The last and final step is these little felt pad protectors. This is complete. We just gotta flip it around the other way and check it out. Now we just need to put some stuff on it. I mean, it's not as tall as I wanted, but I might get taller legs for it later. And then that might help the whole situation or add another box. We'll see. Time for decor. Once I put all the decor on it, I was actually pretty happy with how it looks. It's very beachy and it fits my decor very well. This whole project cost $30 um, and about two hours to put together in total time with painting and sanding and all that stuff. Um, super fun project and I really like how it looks. The lighting is not 100% in this video. Uh, I've got more lights and storage that I still gotta pull out and try to figure out all the natural lighting sources from my new apartment, but we'll get there. Super happy with this project. Don't forget to like, leave a comment below. If you make one, tag me in it. I wanna see. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to my bestie for giving me the suggestion of making my own shelf when I was whining and complaining about not being able to find one. So thank you. Love you all. Bye.